Okay, today I'm going to show you how to take your drawing, which is the catamaran at this case, or whatever design you choose. Uh, what I'm using is the catamaran. I'm going to show you how to take your 3D part file and turn it into a standard IDW, which will then be later printed out and turned in for the assignment. So the first thing you will do is open up your drawing, like I, you see right here. This is my part file, IPT. And like I said, mine is a catamaran. You can name yours whatever your design best looks like. So I'm going to go in and create a new file. I'm going to choose metric, and we're going to choose millimeter, anti-millimeter, IDW, and hit OK. Once this loads, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to make this sheet look like this. Okay, this is what you will have when you are finished. All of your dimensions and then you will have to put in your labels as well. This does not include the labels yet, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today, in addition to all the dimensions. So, let's first things first, let's resize the sheet, edit the sheet, and notice that I right-clicked on the sheet, edit the sheet. We're going to change that to sheet size A, which is 8.5 by 11. Click OK. Notice that the title block is a little too big for our liking, so we're going to go and right click on ANSI large, delete the title block. Then we're going to change the sheet size, right click on sheet, edit sheet, and make sure that 8.5 by 11 is set. So now we're ready to pull in the base view of that drawing. There's my boat. And then you can orient it to whatever you'd like it to be for the front view, um, but this generally should be your front view. Um, depending on your X, Y, and Z axis, these all might be different from what you see here. So try to orient your boat so that you see it from one of the side views. We're going to turn on the scale so that the scale will show up whenever I am satisfied with where I positioned the drawing. Then I'm going to go in and click 1 to 2, so that will be our scale. So it's shrunk down so it will be able to fit on the paper. You can shade it so that it shows up shaded. It's not going to be in full color, it'll be in grayscale. And then we don't have to click OK, we're just going to position the boat, that one side view, wherever we want it to be, and click, and the scale will appear. And also, the in this case, this would be our front view in the orthographic sense. So I have my front, we're now ready to project the top, so click, click again, so you see the box, click for the isometric, and click one last time for the front sla or the back slash rear view, or in this case for the isometric, that would be the right side view. Right click, create. There are all your views. The next thing we're going to do is we're now ready to start putting in our dimensions. So I'm going to go in and click on the drawing annotation panel, and click on the general dimension, or like you learned from the previous video, just hit D for dimension. Okay. So looking back at the other drawing, I know that I'm going to need an overall length of the boat. I'm going to need the overall width of the boat. And I'm going to need the overall height of the boat. And all of the dimensions that are in between. Remember that we should not over dimension because that's only going to make things more complicated for us in the long run. And it will be less easy or less simplified to actually view each one of the dimensions. So let's general dimension the overall length. Let's overall dimension the overall width, which is the beam. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's get this width here. And then we need this one as well. Let's go in and do one of the holes, the width of a hole. We can do the distance underneath the hole. To the overall height, and sometimes it may not work, so you may need to take a couple of times at it. Click on both surfaces. There's your overall height of the hole, and then let's get this distance here and this distance right here. And at this point right now, I can get the overall height. I just have the whole height, let's get the overall height. We can pull that over here 
and then we can escape and move this dimension down so it's not in the way. So there's the overall height. Let's go back. In this case I moved both the dimensions on either side. It's entirely up to you what you'd rather do. Alright, let's get a dimension for the top of the cabin. Okay. And then we can start labeling. So the first label that we're going to be doing is the bow and we're just going to click on the text tool and this is the bow of the boat so I'm just going to type bow oh, actually let's hit escape cancel um, we don't want an actual text we want a leader text that'll work better for us so you double click and type bow or in our case we're going to capitalize everything so that's bow okay then we're going to do the stern double click stern and we're going to select right here this is the LOA this right here is the beam okay so we have the LOA, the beam, the bow, the stern the whole type let's just point right here and put the hull type is a catamaran. Okay, and that does, if that doesn't fit, hit escape and move it down. Click on one of the endpoints. We're going to move that down right like that. Oh, we may need to move that. There we go. And the last step is going to be for us to create the water line and the draft and the freeboard. That's going to be a little bit more tricky to do. All we have to do is go into sketch and now we're going to take a line and change the line type. We can do that later. Let's just go and let's figure out where we want to put the line for now. We're going to drag the line across. Let's just say that this is our estimated water line, which is our LWL. Okay. Right click on the line, hit properties and we can change the weight of the line, that's the thickness, or the type of line. In this case I'm going to go with a dotted line or you can choose any line that you'd wish. Uh, dash is fine too, I'll just go with the dash, that's fine. Hit OK. And then whenever you actually test your boat you will be able to measure out where the or measure the height of the water line according to what you've tested your boat at. So in our cases right here I'm just going to take a line I'm going to measure from here down to the water line. I'm going to measure down all the way to here to the keel. Okay. And then whenever later, if I wanted to mention these, I can. And we can adjust those dimensions and the water line will raise or lower depending on where the water line needs to go. And then we will also be able to dimension from here to here and drop that down and then hit return those dimensions do not appear not, not just yet you see the water line and that's about it if you want those dimensions to appear you have to right click on the sketch and you want to retrieve the dimensions so you want to retrieve select dimensions you want to retrieve this dimension right here and this dimension right here and then hit apply hit OK cancel and they're there and then you can position them wherever they need to go I'm going to move that there, I'm going to move this one down, and then you can label them like so with the leader text. So this would be the freeboard, and this would be the draft. All that's left here is making a dimension line from here to here. So hit D for dimension, here to here. And the dimension line is not shown up. Let's try it again. From here to here. And drop that down. And then label it leader text. And we're going to put LWL, length of the waterline. So there is our drawing. The only last thing that we should do is 
add some text wherever there's some free space and this is where you can type in your name okay you can make it any size you want bold change it to whatever size font and font style you will wish to use type your name obviously your name is not Mr. Bechtel type in whatever you wish obviously as your name and then you're ready to print so go to file print setup choose lab 165 letter size hit OK and landscape should also be selected then go up print preview if you're satisfied with the print then hit print and remember before you hit print you need to make sure that you have all of, all of their dimensions accurately placed where they need to go and you do not over dimension and you have your freeboard in your draft now accurate due to testing the actual boat seeing where the water line actually lies and everything else is accurate all right and then hit print and that's all we need to do in this video and that is the end of this video